We are here in beautiful Beaver Creek, Oregon at Silas Wines. I'm here with Frank McBrearty and Emily Wilder. How are you guys doing? We're doing great. great. Welcome. Thanks for having me. Um, so you guys are a locally owned business. Tell us a little bit about Silas Wines. We are a small boutique winery. We do about 300 cases of wine. And most of that is off of our vineyard, which is the one that we're walking through. Um, the uniqueness of our vineyard, I think, is the fact that we have 25-year-old vines and that we sit at about a thousand feet elevation. Well, we've got Mark here, so let's go cook some country natural beef. Oh, that sounds great. Pinot Noir pairs nicely with that. Hey, it's Mark from Crave Catering. Hey, How everyone. Excellent. So what are we making? Mmm, we got a little carrots I'm doing and... Hey, Mark, I've got a flat iron steak here from Country Natural Beef. So nice. what are we going to do with it? Oh, I got lots of ideas. Okay. First, we're going to get some of these carrots on. You want to help me out? Yeah, let's You guys do ready this. to cook with me or what? Absolutely. Absolutely. All right, throw these in the pan down there. All right. Yeah, just dump it in. All right. There you go. Woo! <laughs> there you go. Sizzle, sizzle. That's just fine. What other ingredients are we going to be using today? Well, you know, I've got some really cool stuff from Groundwork, Groundworks Organics, and I'm going to cut some potato coins. <laughs> are we going to sear those potatoes in a pan? Or? Yeah. No, actually, you're going to sear them in okay. the pan. Okay, you got it. So I'm slicing them really thin here so they cook really quickly. So just dump them right okay. in that middle pan there. Ooh, the sizzle. Oh, yeah, it's talking to Ow. us. Okay. <laughs> that looks good. Perfect. Yeah, just spread them out. And then we're going to let these two things sit so the carrots will caramelize a little bit and the uh, the potatoes will get a nice crunch to them. And in the meantime, okay. you're going to help me with this flat iron here. Gotcha. A little salt and pepper. What kind of salt is this? That's a Himalayan sea salt. Okay. And yeah, get it nice and liberal. I like Perfect. that. Nice and liberal with the salt. Okay. okay. Is that gonna, good? I'm going to flip it. Both sides? Yep, both sides. Okay. So I'm going to hit our pan with a little bit more of that oil, that way. And what kind of oil are you using? I'm just using a little organic olive oil. You know, the um, probably the best thing to use for high heat cooking would be like a rice oil. I don't really care for canola that much, but um, today we've got olive in the house. And what's going to end up happening is we're going to sear this meat off. And then we're going to make a nice sauce, a nice balsamic reduction out of the pan drippings. Ooh. So, How long does the flank iron, flat iron need to cook for? You know, we want to cook it for a couple minutes on each side. It's really thin. We want to get a nice medium rare to medium. So it's only going to take a few minutes. Okay. That smells I think so we're doing good. good. So we've got our carrots, we've got our potatoes, we've got our Oregon country natural beef. What other ingredients are we going to be using? So, well, you know, we're, it, it's only fitting we're here at Silas, so the 2010 Pinot Noir is going to pair perfectly with the beef. But the other day I was out shopping and I found this Rogue Creamery Organzola. So we're going to sprinkle that on top oh, of the meat that when delicious. that's all finished. And then I've got some fresh rosemary that I picked from my garden this morning. We have a little farm up in Battleground. And so, you know, our, our kind of our culinary perspective is world cuisine with local ingredients and we're going to grow as much as we can. Okay. So I'm going to I'm going to take this really quick here because I, I smell lots of good stuff going on. Ooh. See how we're starting to get a little bit of color on those potatoes? I'm ready for a bite. Yum. I'm ready for a drink. Yes. <laughs> so this seems like a pretty simple dish. Would you say so? For Absolutely. Um, you know, you can make this with a lot of cuts, uh, you can make it with a ribeye, you can make it with New York strip, just anything that cooks quickly. So we're getting some nice color on there. Just gonna let it cook down a little bit. So Mark, I noticed some asparagus, is that gonna get added? Yes, added thank you. Almost forgot the asparagus. This time of year, asparagus is coming out. Mm -hmm. Local asparagus, just awesome to, to cook with. That's gonna add be a nice addition to our carrots there. In a second here, I'm going to have you add that to the carrots. Add the, okay. Yeah. All right. Should I go? Yes, please yeah, do. Uh, uh. <laughs> nice. Okay, we lost the carrot. So is there awesome. some seasoning that gets added to the potatoes? Yes. So let's do a little little pepper. fresh cracked pepper right. and some a sea salt, salt there. Okay. And then now we've got a little bit of juices in the pan there. I'm going to hit it with some of this uh, balsamic 
to make our balsamic reduction. And thank you, yes. We're gonna hit the um, the veggies that we're cooking. A little Pinot Gris. Pinot Gris Give a little, little flavor there. And you can see this balsamic is reducing really quickly, oh, wow. becoming nice and thick. Actually, right. I'm gonna add a little bit more there. And you can smell that. So as it reduces, it's gonna, the sugar content's gonna be concentrated. It's gonna give a nice kind of sweet note to it, which will pair well with the meat, which will also pair well with the wine. Mm. So just kind of drizzle around. Yum. That looks so wow. tasty. And then just some crumbled organ. I like how you go right in there with it, just crumble right it top. along. Well, yeah. You know, I don't mess around. Yeah, you don't mess around. Let's That's just, true. Let's just have fun with it. <laughs> so, you guys ready to eat? We are yeah. definitely ready. starving. Okay. So you definitely don't have to go far out of the Oregon region to get these sustainable foods. I'll drink to that. Cheers. Cheers. This is Christina, and we are bringing you the tools to be sustainable today.